All right, this is Steve from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm going to show you for all my Iowa friends that catch a lot of little bullheads like this and they don't know what to do with them because they're too hard to clean. You cut around them with a razor blade, skin them. I always say stop nailing them with the garage door and cleaning them with a shotgun. <laughs> all you need is like a little hunting knife. This is a little cheap knife I bought at the gas station just for this demonstration. A pair of pliers because your thumb will get sore after you clean about 200 of them from Spirit Lake, Iowa. But now this will also work on a little catfish. If you got little catfish and you like them whole, not filleted out because you can flay them as well, but if you like your fish whole when it comes to little cats or bullheads, here's how you clean them. You can clean three a minute with a pocket knife. I'm going to do it kind of slow so you don't miss. Here's the tail fin and right in front of the tail fin is this little teeny dorsal fin. Put your knife under that little dorsal fin and start cutting up the back. Get a little wider as you go until you hit that bone right there. Once you get it up against that bone that sticks up that little stinger, just lift the skin out of the way. Now here's the backbone down the middle and you don't want to cut the skin here or cut the skin here because it won't pull correctly. So what we want to do is we want to go between the backbone and one side of the skin with the tip of the knife with the blade sharp part towards us. We're going to split the difference. Put it right here, shove it down and just pop that backbone. That's all we did. Now we didn't cut the skin here or here. We're going to dig our finger in there and just expose that backbone. Grab it with a pair of pliers and watch the magic as we, it's called shucking them. We're just going to pull it off like this and it's amazing because in this hand is the head, guts, and the skin and over here is a completely clean bullhead ready for the frying pan or you can also put a few little cuts about every inch or so down both sides that'll help the grease get in there you won't have any greasy bullheads just cut down to the backbone put that in your favorite breading of course you just take your thumb and pop the liver out you'll get used to that Put it in your favorite bread and cook that up and nothing could be better than a delicious little yellow belly bullheads. There's browns, blacks, and yellows, but I love the yellows the best and so does just about everybody from Iowa. But that's how you shuck out a bullhead. Cut up the back, pop the backbone without cutting the skin on either side, reach in and expose the backbone, grab it, turn it, and it's like pulling a sock off your foot. You can clean three a minute with a pocket knife. I've won many bets doing that while people cut around them with razor blades and pull and yank and tug. So anyway, that's how you do it. I want to thank Miss Sheila for being my little camera girl and uh, for all my friends from Tennessee that like little catfish and all my buddies from Iowa, my home state that like little bullheads, clean them like that and you'll get them done in a hurry. While she's got the camera going, I'll do one more for you real quick, regular time. This is how I would clean it if I wasn't showing it to you on camera. Whoops, I cut the skin on that side, see? I goofed up. Let me do another one. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I got in a hurry there. Cut up the back like this. Go straight down and just pop that backbone. Pull it out, grab a hold of it with the pliers, and there's another one that's done. But you do see what happens if you get in a hurry and you cut that skin, it won't pull correctly. I'll still get that off there, but that's how you clean them little bullheads in a hurry. Cut up the back, make sure you don't cut that skin like I did, and you'll have all your bullheads just fantastic and ready for the frying pan. All right, this is Stephen Nashville saying thanks a lot from Nashville, Tennessee. Bye-bye.